You almost got two fumbles um, on the first one. You just kind of missed. Um, you know, what, what? How close were you actually? Did you feel the ball? Um, I was going for it. Um, I seen him. I seen him caught back the ball. Um, but when I tried to go for the ball, I felt that he was uh, that the ball didn't come out. So I tried to bring him down to just secure the sack. Um, the ball came out at the last minute, and he scooped it. Right to it. What about the you know, fumble there at the end of the first half? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I think BJ, Daniel, yeah, BJ, BJ Daniels. Uh, I, power, I bull rushed the uh, tackle and came inside. I was supposed to stay outside, but I came inside uh, because I seen that he stepped up. Uh, Coach Hurt told us not to uh, go past the quarterback, basically. So that's the reason why I came inside. And I seen that he was scrambling, so I grabbed for him. And in the last, the last minute, I found out that my arm was around the ball. And I said, okay, I have a chance to strip it because Coach said that B.J. Daniels carries the ball like a loaf of bread. So I was saying, uh, I was like, this is my chance to actually get the ball out. So it was kind of tough, but I used all the I had to strip the ball out and end up uh, grabbing it and fall to the ground. I could have stayed up and ran for the touchdown, but I wanted the offense to do that. Talk about your last couple of games. I mean, do you feel like you can't be blocked right now? Uh, to be honest, I'm just working hard. I mean, if, if I can go up against a good competitor, then he's going to have to work. I'm going to tell him straight up. He's going to have to work to uh, block me, basically, because um, they say I'm a beast, so i got to live up to that expectation. When you're sitting on the sideline and you're watching number five do his thing, there at the end, what's kind of going through your mind? Um, I understand that he got our back as a defense, so I feel like you know, as a defense, we should go at every time. You guys had a little bit of trouble they were doing out of the shotgun, the run up the middle. What was kind of the you know the problem? Why was that so difficult to defend, you think? Um, to be honest, I don't know because uh, I felt like as a D line, we were doing we were doing good. It's just uh, sometimes we have problems getting our blocks, so uh, that's something we have to work on more. And, um, uh, I don't know too much about the secondary if there were coverage, coverage problems or anything like that. But I know we just worked hard to get to it. Is getting sacks kind of streaky like other things in sports where once you get one, sometimes you're able to get a couple more? I know you personally have, but also the team, nine sacks in the last two weeks. Uh, Coach told us, Coach Hurt, Coach Strong, Coach Berger, everybody told us that once they start flowing, they're going to come in blocks. Like, uh, like once we get a groove, once we get our groove, mm -hmm. we're going to get sacks, tackles for loss, uh, interceptions, they're all going to come in blocks. So basically, I understand that you know, they are like 